Hello everyone, I'm Sora Rothfi and this is part 2 of our learning Campbell biology classes. Okay, so without any further ado, let's start from where we left. Okay, the study of life reveals unifying things. And after this, we are going to talk about new properties emerge at successive levels of biological organization. Okay, so let's start. In this part, I will be talking about how can you learn all of the information that you encounter as you study the broad ranges of topics included in biology. Okay? Biology is a subject of enormous scope and exciting new biological discoveries are being made every day. Okay? So, some might ask, how should I organize into a comprehensible uh, framework all the information uh, that I encounter as I study broad ranges of topics included in biology? Okay? Maybe not this long of a question, but still, here is one of the ways that uh, would make learning biology easier for you, okay? Focusing on few large ideas will help, okay? These ideas are as follows. Organization, information, energy and matter, interactions, and last but not least, evolution, okay? In this video and the next, we'll briefly define and explore each theme that I uh, said all of it in this part. Okay? So, let's do this. Okay, the first one is biological organization. Okay, that I have written here organization. Okay? Some of you might know that biological organization uh, includes everything from the biosphere level to the molecular level. Okay? The study of life on Earth extends from the microscopic scale of the molecules that I'm going to show you uh, and cells that make up uh, organisms to the global scale of the entire living planet. Okay, so biologists divide all of the enormous range into different levels of biological organization. Okay, now in the pictures that I'm I am showing you uh, the biological organization. Okay. In these pictures, we are going to zoom in from the biggest level, meaning the biosphere level, in. Okay? So, this approach is called reductionism. Okay? Some might ask, why is it called reductionism? Okay? Well, it's named like this because it reduces the complexity of systems to simple. Uh, simpler parts that are more easier to learn. Okay, so reductionism is powerful strategy in biology. Okay, many discoveries have been found using this method. Okay, take for example the chemical basis of DNA. Okay, that I'm going to talk about it in a few minutes. Okay, so. But reductionism is, uh, provides a necessarily incomplete view of life on Earth, okay? which I will discuss in the next videos. Okay? Uh, now, I'm going to talk about uh, uh, Francis Crick and James Watson, the two scientists that found the chemical basis of uh, DNA. Okay? Uh, this uh, man over here is Mr. Francis Crick, and this one is James Watson. Okay, these two found out the chemical basis of DNA, or the uh, A, T, C, Gs that make up the DNA sequence. Okay, that I'm going to talk about that in other videos. Okay, we have reached the end of this video as well thank you for watching and thank you for your time okay so i will see you in the next video have a nice day